Bueno, pues ahora vamos a reaccionar a la recopilación o la nueva recopilación de juegos. En este caso, en esta segunda quincena de, de junio, que ya están o que van a estar disponibles en Game Pass. Y también, no sé si me imagino que habrá una lista al final, de los juegos que van a sacar de la plataforma, ¿no? Como, bueno, ya sabéis, los vídeos que hacemos, mensuales o quincenales, en este caso de Game Pass, o bueno, dependiendo del mes, por supuesto. Pero aquí estamos para, en este caso, el único vídeo que es a... Bueno, el vídeo, la única lista que se ha anunciado realmente eh, para este mes de junio. Así que, pues en este caso vamos a, a ver los juegos que ha anunciado en este caso Xbox para que van a estar o que ya están, como digo, disponibles en Game Pass y los que han sacado de servicio. Así que bueno, vamos a ver los juegos como tal. Ya justo ahí abajo veis ya uno ya so we are anunciado, pero bueno, year, vamos a verlos. Xbox Game Pass has finally heated up this summer and has doubled down on some awesome games. I'm Sonny, your host at Xbox titles. Central, and we start this off with none other than Need for Speed Unbound. Bueno, this release oh. a late last year ver, following the ahí, beloved ahí. 2019 Need for Speed Heat, and as the name suggests, this game's all about arcade street racing to the max as you engage in some crazy over-the-top illegal underground street races in which money is on the line and glory is going to be what you're seeking. Now, true to the franchise, you're going to be outmaneuvering and outsmarting the cops as they try to take you primero, down. No, you're going to want to win races to get money for car upgrades and more. And the visuals in this game are like a mix of realism with cel-shaded graphics that really pop out and I really like it. Finally, there's a full-fledged story mode that's about 20 hours long, but if you're not into that, you can hop online in a variety of races and modes and you're just going to get tons of hours of content in this game. While it didn't launch to the greatest reviews when it came out at the end of 20 22. Since then, it's gotten really polished. There's no a, lot events, valor, a lot of new events, a lot of daily challenges, valor, a lot of things just happening consistently. So I know I'm looking forward to getting into this one as it releases on June 22nd on cloud, PC, and Xbox Series X and S. A new day one Game Pass game launches here soon in the Bookwalker. 22 de junio. Ponía. O sea que, en este caso, estamos a... a ver, estamos a 23, o sea que ya está disponible, para que lo sepáis. Y luego este que vemos también. And the story here is honestly as the unique as it gets. You play a writer named Entian who's lost the ability to write after being guilty of a horrendous crime. But to gain that ability back, a fellow criminal puts you on the path to steal legendary items from books that you're capable of engaging with. And when you delve into these books, you're on a mission to steal artifacts, things like Thor's hammer or even Excalibur. And to hmm. steal these, you're going to be running into unique environments like prisons, snow-capped mountains, even a spaceship all while solving puzzles and battling and overcoming overwhelming odds to take these precious items all in the name of getting your writing back it's honestly a unique adventure to say the least and one that i look forward to when it lands on june 22nd on consoles and pc now if you're a fan of epic adventures no I think Bramble, the de mountain king is one you shouldn't ignore Bramble, as you play a young king. boy on a quest to rescue his sister in a strange and mysterious land named Bram But what lies within Bramble is what is truly horrifying. Creatures that are completely out of this world, they're hungry and they're evil. And this is just one of those indie games that's almost the evolution el, of indie games themselves. As martes. you get taken on a wild la adventure full of twists and turns, heart-pounding boss battles, and one of the most gorgeous looking indie games to date. Not only that, since its release months ago, it has received overwhelmingly positive user reviews for not only its whimsical and fun gameplay, but the The story and atmosphere involved in the world of Bramble is something that you really get immersed in. Make sure you guys don't sleep on Bramble when it launches on Game Pass on June 27th. So Fist Forged in Shadow Torch is an action Fist adventure Metroidvania that puts you in the shoes of Rayton, a former soldier with a badass mechanical fist that can turn into a drill or even a whip, or you simply just punch your way through the robots that have taken over the world that was once inhabited by animal life. Now this being a Metroidvania, this 2D game's a little unique as there's quite a bit of exploration you can do with tons of rooms and chambers and tunnels you'll be discovering. Meanwhile, the game's backdrop and visuals are pretty great looking mixed with the fluid combat animations and honestly the game's pretty visually appealing at least to me anyways but one cool aspect that i've enjoyed seeing are the epic boss fights that you're gonna encounter here i'm a sucker for epic fights and that's exactly what you're getting with fist forged in shadow now the game's coming in with a metacritic score of 81 and it has about 20 hours of gameplay if you explore a bit but overall this is a solid game pass title that launches on june 27th on cloud pc and xbox series x and s 
personas. Tiene altavoces inteligentes. ¿Es OLED? Eh, y 10 modos de imagen. Pero... Vaya por Dios. So when I talk about unique games, I certainly think about the game Arcade Paradise. This is a game where you arcade, take an old laundromat in the 90s and you turn it into a profitable arcade well, yeah, yeah, that you run in the back of the facility. It's an interesting arcade take on Paradise. Sims, but it also comes packed with 35 arcade games that you can set up in your shop and you can even play the games yourself or just watch your customers do their thing. It's a super interesting title that comes packed with stories, missions, and of course the high scores that you can set your yourself across the games themselves but what i like ultimately is that the goal is to build your very own profitable arcade paradise but i gotta say it's not gonna be all glory sometimes you're gonna have to do things like cleaning toilets <laughs> picking up the trash or actually having to use the laundromat portion of the building before the, you the, can the, have all that fun gaming on the arcade machines at night as i said this is a great relaxing game and one that i think you should give a shot on game pass when it releases on june 29th on consoles and pc so Story of Seasons Mineral Town sees its way onto Game o sea, Pass this June, and this franchise goes all the way back to the Story 90s on the Game Boy. I would know, oh, I enjoyed it back then as a small kid, and this franchise is the OG of farming sim games, with a very charming and casual way about it that I've always loved, and Mineral Town is going to be no different. You're on a journey to restore your grandfather's farm to its once former glory, but to do that, you'll be raising a variety of crops across the seasons, but you'll also be tending to animals and livestock as well. And when you accomplish all that, you'll get to sell all the product you get from all the fruits of your labor. It's really a fun gameplay loop that for me never really gets boring. And it really changes up too when you head into town and you meet your neighbors and you find a future spouse and you fall in love and even start a family as well as participate in various events throughout the year. If you guys are looking for a way to kind of get away from fast paced action games and you want something more chill and relaxed, this is a great one when it sees a Game Pass release release on June 29th across consoles and PC. Our final Game Pass game is Sword and Fairy luego, Together luego, luego Forever. This is an action-based RPG in a Chinese art style Sword featuring a pretty weird storyline. That is, if no you can follow it, if you don't speak Chinese, sí, sí, because sí, sí, you're going to have to follow along with the subtitles. But what immediately to me sticks out with this title is the gorgeous and beautiful visuals that really make the environments and the character models stand out. And not even touching on the combat itself, that's this traditional hack and slash, but the animations with this really pop out. And the The gameplay overall is just really smooth. If you're into Chinese mythology and a lot of Chinese cultural references, I think you'll be interested in this, especially the soundtrack that actually seems to garner the most praise with this game as everyone seems to highlight it. But overall, there's 30 hours of gameplay if you do some side quests. And if you're a completionist, there's even more. Honestly, the game's up there with some of the recent AAA titles in terms of pure quality as it's received a rave review since it released back in 2021. And the good news is Sword and Fair lands pretty soon on Xbox Game Pass on July 5th on consoles and PC. I, I, I also want to quickly yeah, highlight vale. the rest of July games coming later this month. We have Exo Primal, the team-based online shooter that puts you in these fancy Exo. Ah, hablado del 5 de julio, o sea que ya está hablando de julio. Vale. Exoprimal. As you battling it out against some pretty ferocious and mean dinosaurs, this lands on July 14th. Then we have Tectonica, a unique blend of factory simulation ¿no? and an adventure bueno. game that lets you explore a challenging labyrinth of alien caves and dark dungeons. This lands on Algunos, July 18th. Then we have The Wandering of Village, a city building simulation game set on the back of giant dinosaurs and a post-apocalyptic game about building settlements. You'll be gathering resources and just plain surviving. This one arrives bueno, on juego, July 20th and finally a new day one game pass game named Benba. This is a narrative based cooking game where you play a mom who's looking to make dishes to restore lost recipes of her family. Meanwhile, you pull the family in together for a wholesome story. This sees the game pass debut on July 31st. With that, we have the games of leaving Xbox game pass this June 30th. We do have some good ones that I've enjoyed that are leaving sadly los like Matt. Los juegos que van a la sacar y ya creo que esto con eso ya termina. Vale. El 30 de junio, bueno, igual con el con PlayStation Plus, o sea que es el último día del mes cuando lo sacan. Tenemos el DMAX Respect 5, luego tenemos aquí las versiones, como siempre, de Game Pass, los que siguen todavía disponibles. O sea que en este caso tenéis pues una semana. Tenemos el, el Empire of Sin, el Match Point Tennis Championships, el Ol Olilla, no se pronuncia así, el Omori y por último el Road 96, o el Road 96. Así que, pues nada, 
ya hemos visto las dos partes. Los grupos que entran, o bueno, los grupos, los juegos que entran por los que salen, como yo siempre digo. Vale, vamos a, recap a recapitular un poco. Aunque vemos aquí justo aquí que lo dividen por capítulos, pues ya vemos aquí los juegos en sí. Pero también, bueno, las fechas como tal. Luego también lo que me interesa. Vale, el Unbound, pues ya lo tenéis disponible. Ahí lo tenéis en la, en la plataforma de Electronic Arts, pero en la versión... Bueno, no sé, no sé si habrá más de una versión, pero bueno. En la buscada en el EA Play ya está. El Unbound. The Book Walker. También para... O sea, ya está también disponible. Bramble The Mountain King. A ver, para, esto sería ya para el martes que viene. El Feast, creo que también es para el martes que viene. El Feast Forge in Shadow Torch. El Arcade Paradise para el 3 de julio, ¿vale? Ah, este también era para julio. Pensaba que era también para... O sea, que todavía estaba para junio. Vale, vale. Para el 3 de julio. Luego, eh, por si no habéis visto las versiones de, de... Las versiones de Game Pass en las que los van a lanzar, pues ahí los veis también. Vale, faltan dos ahí, ¿vale? El Est Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town. Mineral Town, perdón. Ahora aquí seguimos en junio. Entonces, ¿por qué este es para...? Porque han ha metido, este, ha metido este antes, no sé. Vale, pues esto ya también hablamos de que es para el... O sea, ya el jueves de la semana que viene, ¿vale? Y por último, los juegos que van a disponer... De los que van a disponer en el servicio, tenemos el Sword and Fairy Together Forever. En este caso ya para julio. Y ya pues aquí hablan de... O sea, conjunto con el... Arcade Paradise y este, el Sword of Fairy. Al final, pues vemos otros juegos que se van a lanzar en julio. Vamos a ver si a repasarlos un poco, ¿vale? Y ya os dejo aquí con, con esta lista de los juegos que van a sacar, para que lo sepáis también. Así que bueno, al final estas listas, pues siempre van de juegos más destacados a. O sea, empiezan con los más destacados y empiezan con los, bueno, los menos destacados como tal de la lista. Así que pues, bueno. O sea, al final tampoco hay que... Eh, ya lo que es el vídeo en sí ya lo deja claro, ¿no? O sea, no hace falta sacar conclusiones como tal. Así que, pues... Lo he dicho, si... Aunque el último juego que haya salido, pues... Eh, os interesa o lo habéis jugado incluso, fuera de, de Game Pass en este caso, pues obviamente... Eh, bueno, he jugado a cualquiera realmente. Los que han salido aquí, pues decídmelo por el chat o en los comentarios si lo está viendo desde YouTube. Y pues decidme qué os ha parecido en este caso. Dejadme en el chat o en los comentarios qué opináis sobre la lista en sí. O sea, las dos listas, tanto los juegos que entran y los juegos que, que van a salir de Game Pass. Así que bueno, ya poco más que decir. Así que para la gente de YouTube, si os ha gustado el vídeo como tal dar un buen like, suscribiros al canal si no lo estáis, activar la campanita de notificaciones y en la descripción como siempre tenéis mis redes sociales y la lista de reproducción con los tipos de vídeos que tengo en el canal. Muchas gracias por vuestro apoyo. ¡Hasta la próxima!